Hey guys, welcome to a new series on Tion Customs. I'm Tion and today I'm starting off with this new-ish series, I guess you could call it, on my channel. And I don't really have a name for it at the moment. At the moment it's just like creating a figure series. So what this is going to be is I'm going to do videos and in that video I'll be creating a figure and it'll be time-lapsed. So you'll see how I make the figure and what I use. I first want to give a shout out to Big Jalawa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Link to his YouTube in the description below. Go check him out. He created the Facebook page that I was talking about in the last video, announcement video called New Tubers. Go check him out. And this was actually a suggestion that he gave me. So yeah, go check out his page. I explained in my last video. It's a page to help try and get like lesser known YouTubers to grow more as like a, I guess, community. So yeah, he's suggested that I should do this video. So that's what I'm going to be doing and this is like a series so I'll start off like intros like this and I'll do a little bit of time lapse and I guess I'll talk a little bit about what I've done and kind of talk you through it with some other segments anyway so for this first figure of this video is I'm gonna be creating a sig fig because I used to have a sig fig and you know and I don't have it now and I want to have a new sig fig so yeah I've just got a Luke Skywalker head one of these hair pieces just some plain black legs and this torso, which I'll be like painting over and whatnot. Uh, eventually, when I do get more flesh arms, I'm gonna give him flesh arms. But for the time being, I'm giving him black arms. And yeah, so and then he's just got hands. And then I think what I will do is I will probably give him a lightsaber. So because I'm actually gonna be making this guy or my sig fig in some Jedi robes, some black and blue Jedi robes. I'll probably give him a lightsaber at the end of the video. But anyway, so that's it for this intro. Let's begin. Okay guys, so the first part's pretty much done. I've painted over the torso in this flat black colour for my sig fig. I just thought the flat black might, might be nice, but I'm thinking I might go over into flat blue. We decide in the next part. And then I've also done the base for the Jedi robe. So I, I like you saw on the time lapse, I had to do it again. It's stuffed up. So I pretty much use this as like a utensil and then I just actually just outline and whatnot for anything else. So yeah, the Jedi robe I'm kind of going with is more like the Return of the Jedi did I robe or the tunic? So there's that. I just need to add on some other bits and pieces, and then that will be pretty much done. Face I haven't done too anything with, and the legs all I've done is just separate them. So yeah, other than that, I now I did look over the footage just before I started this, and just to let you guys know, I am going to be swapping the sides of the camera so that you can see more of what I'm working on, not just the back of my head. That's why it changes from the thing just to let you know after i do everything i look at the time lapse but anyway let's get back into it so I now i think that's almost these are almost dry so now i'm going to get to work on the other stuff Alright guys, so I've just finished off this Jedi robe kind of look and I really love how this turned out. I'm probably going to use it for other customs in the future like when I make the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker and maybe some other customs and they're pretty cool. So yeah, this is kind of also a practice for Jedi robes and I really love how this turned out. So next thing to do with this robe, I'm going to paint over these blue E-tape lines in the flat blue colour that I used at the beginning in this blue colour and I'm going to use a flat black for the other e-tip part. So that will be the next thing for this torso. Or oh, that rope piece. So this piece here, just gone over again in a blue color because the lining that I did wasn't the best. So I'm just gonna quickly finish this up. Once that dries, I'm gonna then add a little bit of skin up the top, like a little bit of flesh and just do some little under torso details, just so that way it's not just a plain blue that you see in there. I will just fix it up and whatnot. Now for the legs, Coming to this, uh, all I really need to do for these is just add some 
black boots. That's all I need to do for this, so that should be really simple to do. The waist piece, I don't need to do anything. So I'm probably not going to do anything to this face because I reckon it works well for my sig fig. I reckon this works for now. For the hair piece, I'm going to paint in like a darker blonde colour. I'm going to try and replicate this yellow colour. Other than that, I'm just going to throw on some plain black arm. That's what I have so far. I guess we can get back into it now. Okay guys, so I've pretty much painted over this, now I've pretty much all the blacks dried, I've just put on the blue, and now I'm waiting for that to dry, and then I'm going to go over some parts of the black tunic. For the legs, I'm still waiting for them to dry off, especially the front there, because I can't really do anything else until that's dry, and the side here is dry, and then once the back's dry and everything, I can then paint on the shoes, the front torso, underneath, I'm just waiting for this to dry off, so that way I can you know, go over and do a couple of little details up the top here. I was trying to match up the blue because I don't know it looked like it didn't work as well. So I might repaint the whole front of this and have it dry together. So we'll see. But yeah, I've also painted up the hair as you saw me do as well. I mixed up the flat yellow and the dark tan. Done it in this yellow color, which I reckon it works with my hair. I like how that's turned out and, I've, and that's pretty much what I've done so far. So, and then the waist piece is up there, like I said, I'm not really doing anything to that. So once all the paint's dry, I will then come back and time-lapse everything, probably finish off the figure through the last time-lapse part. So, yeah, for the time being, that's pretty much uh, what I can really do. I just need to wait for the everything else to dry off. Anyway, I'll be back in a second with the last time-lapse footage of me finishing up everything after the paint is dry. Alright guys, so apologies for not just ending it up like I said I was going to, there's just a couple of other parts that I want to talk run through. So it's been a while since I've actually worked on this because it took a while for the paint to dry, but I reckon it looks good the way it's turning out. Kind of like a Return of the Jedi slash prequel <laughs> Jedi robe, which is what I wanted to do and I'm loving how it turned out. I really love this colour scheme. So the paints have finally dried up on this. I don't think I need to go over the torso again and paint. Also pretty much done this part. I probably need to go over the flesh up the top, redo some of the lines and then they'll be done. And the legs are already done as well. And then the hair painted so once I finish that up you'll be good to go now I do want to apologize for not having the camera the same way as I did before I couldn't remember where I had it so I just placed it anywhere so that's why it seems kind of diagonal and apologies that you didn't actually see part of it because I couldn't see the camera or like what you guys were seeing at the time of the recording but I can't really go back and film it since I've already done everything so yeah anyway I'll go ahead I'll probably like repaint the front of this leg and then I'll just fix up the top bit and then paint up some blue arms for the time being and then I guess we can go ahead, I can show you the completed figure and then wrap up.
Okay, so I kind of stuffed up. <laughs> so, in just the last bit of time lapse, I thought everything was dry enough, so I was starting to put this on. Then I realized, you know what? It's not dry enough, and I saw some of the blue on this face, like up on this head. And I already got rid of some of the printing, because there was like a lot more paint going across the face. And I had some paint on my fingers. So, yeah, this happened. Uh, I did manage to paint this lightsaber, like repaint this lightsaber since it's already chimpy, chipping. So this is my Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber, which I'm going to be giving to this minifigure. You know, I prefer the Return of the Jedi lightsaber, but I think blue would work better with this figure since the world blue. But anyway, so yeah, now I've just got a huge mess. You know, it's a mess up at the here, so all the flesh is pretty much gone. There's like flesh and yellow going through. The robes, this was bent up a little bit, so I had to fix this up. And then, yeah, so pretty much what I have to do is repaint everything. Repaint the flesh, repaint, you know, the top of the torso here, fix that up. I would probably just repaint the torso, maybe do a different design. And then I also have to repaint this, which is now stuck onto the figure. And then I've also stuffed up the legs. So, good on ya. There you go. I've just stuffed everything up. There we go, it's separated. Now I just need to repaint all of this, then I need to repaint all of this, then I need to scratch off the paint over this, then I, the arms are fine. And then, once all that's dry, and I actually wait for it to be dry, I'll probably wait for a couple of hours, because I only waited for a little bit, which I thought I, it was already dry. But hey, at least you get to see what happens if I stuff up. So yes, this video is going to be a little bit longer than what I hoped, but oh well, at least you get to see more. So, I uh, hopefully, after... I'll probably do a time lapse where I fix this up and then maybe do a time lapse with me putting this figure together or something But I don't know at this point, but at least you know you saw me stuff up and you're gonna see how I'm gonna fix up I'm winging all this by the way So I haven't actually planned how I'm gonna do this because I'm doing this on the spot Whereas later on I'll have figures for example Batman where I have designs and I'm gonna crush plan it out a little bit more But I'm just winging this <clears throat> and you know so you saw my mistake I'm gonna do a time lapse of me pretty much repainting everything. Once that's done, I don't know. It's just gonna be a couple more time lapses, which will I will just be added in, and then it'll be the ending. So, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit longer than what I hoped, but oh well. At least you get to see more. So back to it then, I guess. So anyway guys, there we have it, uh, my sig fig, now I'm not really going to do a review on it, so usually I would just, you know, like, wrap up the video, but since I'm not going to review I'll quickly show you, so, you can see the Jedi robes, out of E-tape with the dark blue, uh, you can see I had the lightsaber, now original was going to be blue, but I changed it to green, but I might just give him this other Luke Skywalker lightsaber, which is how it's actually, how I made it look, to make it look more like the Luke Skywalker saber, so, I'll probably change this Obi Wan Kenobi to the Look Skywalker. So anyway, okay, it's just got a plain jumpsuit underneath. You can see the flesh at the top. Plain black blue legs with the black boots. And then you can just see all the details with the flat blue and the black. And on the back is the continuation and the hair and everything. So yeah. So that's my sig fig. But yeah, I have to give another shout out and thanks to Big Jalawa. I I was actually considering making these sort of videos and it was his comment that wanted me to actually make them. And start this like new series so go check him out and check out youtubers links will be in the description below also check out my t-gun custom sales as i will be selling minifigures soon so check them out they'll be in the description below anyway i'm not going to do this for every single minifigure it's just going to be for like a couple of minifigures from like a showcase or maybe even just one but i'm thinking for the next one i'm probably going to do it on marshall and lily from how many mother have 
them like together so it'll be a long a little bit longer you know because i thought since there are a couple in the show what not i'll just make them together and do the video why not but that will be the next one anyway uh so thanks for watching also go check out my t-gun custom sales the instagram and ebay will be in the description below so i'll be starting to sell some figures soon also check out my second channel and instagram uh links in uh below but yeah other than that thank you guys for watching come like subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys next time bye